India is the country of a million colors, smells, and spices, the birthplace of Hinduism. But India is also a very mysterious place. They have a lot of secrets and magical phenomena that not even science can explain. Everything bizarre and fascinating in this world seems to happen in India. From a secret city where only immortals can live to a terrifying lake where something terrible happened, here are 20 mysterious discoveries from India. Number 20. Brihadiswarar Temple Locally, the Brihadiswara Temple is called Puruvadayar Koyil or Tanjavur Koval. This great temple dates back to the 11th century to the time of the famous Raja Raja Chola. The temple is built from granite and is dedicated to Lord Shiva. In fact, it is called Dakshin Maru, which means South Maru. During the reign of one of the oldest dynasties in India, the Cholas, the temple was called Raja Rajishwaram. It was a center for all religious functions and festivals. Later, after the Naika and Marathas invaded, the temple became famous as the Brihadiswarar Temple. It is now a UNESCO World Heritage Site and a major destination in South India. This is due not only to its history, but also to the unusual facets of it. Whether by design or coincidence, the architecture of the temple has made it quite mysterious. There are quite a few unexplained stories about it that will intrigue every visitor here. You will never see the shadow of the Vimana at noon, no matter what season you visit. It is said that it's true that the statue of the Tanjavur Great Temple didn't fall within the grounds. Instead, the great temple of Tanjore cast a shadow away from the main grounds towards the periphery. It could not be seen due to the various trees that covered the ground. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now, it's time for the star topic. There's an old legend in India that tells the story of an ancient civilization of people that had colorful fish tails and lived under the sea. They used to live in harmony with human beings until a greedy king started to catch them to keep them as pets in his palace. This story is widely considered to be just that, a story, until a man took this mysterious picture. What a man discovered in India shocked the world. A man was in India vacationing with his family, having a relaxing day at the beach. His kids were busy playing games and his wife was sunbathing, but he decided to go explore the rocks. In the corner of his eye, he believed he saw something beautiful, blue and pink, so he went to look closer. The instant he reached the hole, he saw a mermaid. She was terrified and jumped straight into the water, disappearing under the rocks. But he managed to catch this picture just in time. Comment down below with the hashtag StarTopic and let us know your opinion in relation to what we just showed on screen. With that said, let's keep things moving. Number 19. Shani Shingnapur, the village without locks and doors. There are many unusual places in the world, and one of the most peculiar is the small town of Shani Shingnapur, a town in the state of Maharashtra in central West India. Unlike many other villages, this site doesn't have many tourist attractions, but it draws attention for a very curious feature. No house or establishment has doors. The inhabitants of Shani Shingnapur have become accustomed to living without them, nor do they require keys or locks to safeguard their belongings, a behavior that today no one would even dare to dream of. However, here, people have full confidence in the entity they consider as their guardian. The god Swayambu, who they say punishes any individual who dares to steal with up to seven years of misfortune. That is why no one's bothered in a long time to hide their belongings. Even banks have free access. And as far-fetched as it sounds, the truth is no thieves or assaults have been known in the town. During the day, the constructions of Shani Shingnapur remain completely open. When night falls, several people place logs at their entrances, more as a measure to shelter from the cold and animals than to prevent them from being robbed. The only inconvenience of the lifestyle of the settlers is having to announce themselves loudly every time they appear in a place, because they lack doors to knock on, as is the custom, something that can disturb the rest or tranquility of those who are inside. Outside of that, the truth is they have no problem living like this, and if nothing changes, they will continue to do so for quite some time. Would you dare to do it? 
Number 18. Twin Town In this mysterious place surrounded by palm trees and jackfruit trees, babies are born two by two. Codini has one of the highest twinning rates in the world, some 500 cases among the 4,000 families in the area. These are monozygotic twins, two embryos conceived after the partition of a single zygote, or dizygotic twins, originated by the fertilization of two ovules by two different spermatozoa, known as identical twins and fraternal twins, respectively. Here, many neighbors and the neighbors of their neighbors have twins. The situation's so bizarre that the residents believe that God has blessed this this town. It's the only explanation they can find. Local doctors say that in Codini, about 15 cases are born a year, and they estimate that for every 1,000 births, between 36 and 40 are multiple, a very high feature when compared to the rest of the planet. Its inhabitants affirm that this phenomenon began a few generations ago. The oldest twins are now in their 90s. Now, there are half a thousand pairs and several triplets. Scientists have come from Pune and Hyderabad, but not even they could come up with an explanation. The first to study it was Dr. Srabiju, a local doctor who for a decade spent his free time observing this rarity. To this day, he still doesn't find clear answers. He thinks there's something in the environment that's causing multiple ovulations in Codini women. It's unlikely that it's due to genetic reasons in such a specific site. Number 17. Kirti Stamba, the Iron Pillar of Delhi. The Iron Pillar of Delhi is located in the Kutbi complex, a World Heritage Site. It's an important testimony in the history of the steel industry and shows the incredibly high level of knowledge and sophistication of the ancient Indian blacksmiths in iron casting techniques. It has a height of 7.21 meters. of which 93 centimeters are currently buried below ground level where it stands. The diameter at the base is 41 centimeters, tapering gradually to the top. The pillar was made during the period of Emperor Chandragupta II during the 4th century. It's made of wrought iron and has a high purity of 98%. This singular and unusual characteristic of purity and the formation of a compact protection layer of very low porosity has allowed the structure not to have been affected by the corrosion process. In fact, it hasn't suffered the consequences of oxidization despite having remained outdoors for about 1,600 years. Given that, there's a local tradition to wrap your arms around the pillar with your back to it to attract good luck. In 1997, a protective fence was installed around it in order to prevent its degradation, because the aforementioned practice could be detrimental with the growing influx of tourists to the place. Number 16. Prahlad Jani, India's Fasting Fakir the Fakir Pralad Jani, also known as Mataji or Little Mother because in his youth he dressed as a woman to worship the goddess Amba, assures that he has spent the last 74 of his 85 years of life without eating or drinking anything at all. I do not feel any need for food and water, says the ascetic who lives in a cave in the state of Gujarat and who's revered as a true living god. As he explains, at the age of 17, he left his home in search of spiritual development, and at 11 years old, he was blessed by the goddess Amba, who he claims gave him sustenance from a nectar that originated from a hole in his palate, removing the need for urine and feces ever since. In addition, according to his followers, the yogi enters a state of samadhi almost daily, characterized by extreme happiness, and he's also spent long periods in which he talks non-stop, where they say he would connect with divinity. In 2003, Prahlad Jani participated in a scientific investigation to check his incredible abilities and to demonstrate with cameras that he could live without eating or drinking for more than 15 days. The investigation was carried out by Dr. Sudhir Shah, who was, at the time, the Ministry of Defense of India and president of the Parascientific and Religious Association of Doctors, being of the same religion that the yogi professes. The the results were not disclosed, but they assured that Prahlad Jani could indeed live off the air and that it was not a fraud. Number 15. Nine Unknown Men it's not a sin to believe that in other civilizations there has been not an absence of science, but a secret imposed on science. 
Such seems to be the origin of the wonderful legend of the Nine Unknown Men. The tradition of the Nine Unknowns dates back to Emperor Ahsoka, who ruled India from 273 BC. He was the grandson of Chandragupta, the first unifier of India. Ambitious, like his ancestor, whose work he wanted to complete, he undertook the conquest of the country of Kalinga, which stretched from present-day Calcutta to Madras. The Kalingis resisted and lost 100,000 men in the battle. The sight of this slaughtered crowd unnerved Ahsoka. He refused to continue the integration of the insurgent countries, declaring that the true conquest consists in winning the hearts of men by the law of duty and piety, since the sacred majesty wishes that all animated beings enjoy security, free disposition of themselves, of peace, and happiness. A convert to Buddhism, Ahsoka, by the example of his own virtues, spread this religion throughout India and throughout his empire. He also created a secret club that exerted a significant influence in making social, political, economic, and scientific decisions. He ordered these nine men to always remain secret, and some people believe they still exist to this day. Number 14. Sun Bhandar – Bimbasura's Hidden Treasure Apparently, within the walls excavated in the 3rd or 4th century lies a vast treasure inaccessible unless the magic words are spoken. Instead of the usual stone, these two caves are polished to an almost mirror-like shine. It's unknown what was the objective behind the construction. Some theories focus on considering it a sanctuary for various civilizations because of some of the sculptures and engravings that have been analyzed. It's also thought that the construction was ordered by a king, perhaps Jarasandha or Bhimisra, depending on what centuries it dates from. However, if we think that Sun Bandar translates to storehouse of gold, a layer of mysticism gets added. Now, according to the story, the treasure is in a secret passageway behind an impenetrable wall that will only open when the proper mantra is recited. In fact, there's an outline carved into the rock in the form of a door inside the cave that bears a mysterious inscription that's supposed to be the correct password. So what's the problem? Well, it's written in a lost language, Shan Kalipi, whose records were destroyed by Islamic invaders, and it is therefore indecipherable. Over the years, various treasure hunters have tried unsuccessfully to figure out how to enter the passageway. Even during the colonization of India by the British, it was impossible, despite the fact that the military directly fired on the walls. Number 13. Sentinelese of Andaman and Nicobar Imagine a place where its inhabitants didn't know until a few years ago what fire was. They also don't know how to cultivate the land. They hunt and fish with rudimentary spears and harpoons. They walk around naked. They live completely isolated and speak a language unintelligible to the rest of the world. Dog. Dog. We could be talking about any human settlement in prehistory. But no, that place exists in 2022. It's called North Sentinel, and it's a stranded island in the Andaman Sea. Its inhabitants, it's not known whether 15, 100, or 500 since there are no official censuses, are extremely hostile. Every attempt to approach the island in recent decades has ended with onlookers, missionaries, poachers, and shipwrecked people killed or almost losing their lives. In 1991, a group of Indian anthropologists established the first and last peaceful contact with the Sentinelese. They brought them coconuts as a gift and offered them to them from the water without ever stepping on dry land. The Sentinelese gladly accepted them. On this brief expedition, anthropologists observed that their spears had metal tips, possibly obtained from the wreck of the Primrose, a freighter that had run aground on the reefs of Sentinel in 1981. The Sentinelese had evolved from the Stone Age to the Iron Age, while the rest of the world continues to evolve at a different pace. Number 12. The Curse of Kuldara Koldara is an abandoned town that's located about 18 kilometers from Jaisalmer in Rajasthan. It was founded around the 13th century and was a prosperous place in the past, but no one has lived there since 1825. According to the versions of different analysts and archaeology experts, the history of this place tells us that around a thousand villagers completely abandoned their home during the night without leaving a trace. Nobody knows where they went or why. It's believed that the scarcity of water could be one of the reasons for this abandonment, or perhaps some seismic movement. 
For years, the abandoned town of Koldara had a reputation as a haunted place. A few years ago, it began to develop as a tourist destination and is usually a part of the tourist tours of the area. This town had its center in a temple that was dedicated to the mother goddess, the goddess who represents nature, motherhood, fertility, creation, and destruction. In this temple, there were sculptures of Vishnu, and in most of the inscriptions and access doors, there are invocations to Ganesh. From this temple, three roads left, which were joined by small alleys. Remnants of the walls can still be seen. Part of the ruins are three cremation areas with memorial stones, more than 400 houses, and another 200 on the outskirts. Number 11. Sanchi Stupa Sanchi is one of the best-preserved Buddhist architectural complexes in all of South Asia. It's located on a limestone outcrop in the heart of central India and is made up of a series of stupas, temples, monasteries, and pillars built between the 3rd century BC and the 12th century CE. The most important monument is undoubtedly the Great Stupa. Around its base extends a processional avenue around a monumental stone railing. It has four doors of enormous dimensions, one in each cardinal point, and all of them decorated with exquisite bas-reliefs of scenes taken from the life of Buddha as well as from the early days of Buddhism. The dome stands on a plinth in the form of an incomplete hemisphere 36.6 meters in diameter, and at the top it has a kind of triple stone parasol surrounded by a rectangular railing also made of stone. The compact structure of the stupa contrasts sharply with the intricate set of gates and railings. This contrast must have been much more striking originally, with the dome and plinth whitewashed, gleaming white, the doors and railings painted a translucent red, and the surface of the stupa decorated with garlands and the like. And finally, the umbrellas with their gold plating. Number 10. Shait Paul, the land of snakes. If you have a snake phobia, this place will certainly fuel your deepest nightmares. But for the inhabitants of Shait Paul, snakes are but everyday companions, and even more so, sacred creatures. Shait Paul, the land of snake charmers, is a small, quiet town located in the Sholapur district, where you feel a spooky and terrifying atmosphere, along with the view of dry plains perfect for all kinds of snakes to inhabit. <laughs> In this town, the snakes have a permanent abode in each and every one of the houses, as they are worshipped by the inhabitants of Shade Paul due to their divine power. Each village in India has a different culture, colors, and story to tell. India is full of diversity and has many unique traditions and rituals. One of them is the cult of snakes, especially the cobra, as there are stories about reptiles taking the form of God and the devil. The locals in Shade Paul have gotten used to cohabitating with the deadly snake. There's even a special corner in every house exclusively for the cobras to come and go as they please. And surprisingly, or not, snakes never bite people in this village. Number 9. Mysterious Giant Stone Jars they are extremely old, huge, and made of sandstone. The 65 enigmatic vessels were discovered at four different sites in Assam, India. They all vary in shape and decoration. Some are tall and cylindrical, while others have been partially or totally buried in the ground. This was reported by experts from the Australian National University who collaborated with Indian archaeologists in their discovery. According to what the researchers report, other similar containers up to 3 meters high and 2 meters wide have already been found in Laos and Indonesia. Until now, however, it remains a mystery what the vessels were used for. The most shared theory among scientists is that the giant containers were used in macabre funeral practices. The researchers strongly believe that it's likely they were associated with mortuary practices. This hypothesis is supported by the legends of the Naga people, ethnic groups from northwest India who preserved stories linked to the discovery of the Assam jars. According to their testimonies, they were full of ashes, necklaces, and utensils. Number 8. Mass Bird Suicides of Jatinga the tranquility of Jatinga, a picturesque town nestled in the Boreal Hills in India, is broken every night by a disturbing event to which scientists cannot find an answer – the mass suicide of hundreds of birds. It invariably occurs between September and November, at least in recent years. When the sun goes down, hundreds of birds descend on the town, flying at full speed to crash into buildings and trees. Jatinga, with lush vegetation and abundant freshwater, is a resting place for many migratory birds that attracted the country's nature lovers, eager to observe closely the herons, ducks, and drongos. For many years, and in the face of such a strange event, 
people have believed that this mass suicide of birds occurred because of the evil spirits that live in the skies and are responsible for shooting down the birds or forcing them to commit suicide. Today, those who come to Jatinga do so for a macabre reason. They want to see live the terrible scene of the suicide, if it can be called that. Ornithologists don't think that's the case. The animals are attracted by the light and rush violently against it with the consequences that we already know. But that's not the worst of it. The worst thing is that instead of looking for solutions so that the birds stop committing suicide, it's considered a tourist attraction since people come to Jatinga attracted by the morbid spectacle. Number 7. Hanging Pillar of Lepashki Situated in the village of Lepashki in southern Andhra Pradesh is the ancient Virabhadra Temple. Also known as Lepashki Temple, it is one of the most mysterious temples in India. The temple is adorned with paintings and sculptures carved from granite, and these cover almost every surface. The site is said to have been built as a pilgrimage destination to worship Lord Shiva, one of the great deities of Hinduism. There's one feature in particular which not only remains unexplained. Among the 70 carved granite columns that support the roof, one column is the most intriguing. Known as the Hanging Pillar of Lepashki, it's a column that initially appears to be a weight-bearing structure of the roof, but on closer inspection, one discovers that this column is in fact airborne, with its significant weight somehow being dispersed along the ceiling that supports it. This peculiarity has challenged many engineers who failed to solve the mystery behind the pillar. The column apparently has no function other than to show the capabilities of the temple builder. In addition, a Along with a past purpose that remains elusive, it's also unknown how the internal structure of the temple actually supports the weight of the column and how it managed to resist the passage of time instead. Number 6. Purple Frog when scientists discovered an unusual purple frog in India's western Ghats in 2003, they considered the strange-looking creature unlike anything else discovered before. But in a new discovery announced by National Geographic, researchers who make frequent field visits to the region have discovered a second, equally strange species that is a member of the family. The new species, dubbed Bupathi's purple frog, has a bulbous body covered in purple skin, blue ringed eyes, and a pig-like nose. And perhaps unsurprisingly, experts say it spends most of its life underground. It even eats underground, using a long tongue to pick up ants and termites. During monsoon season, male purple frogs call out to females from under the sand. They then mate in streams, leaving behind their fertilized eggs. Once hatched, the tadpoles use a suckerfish-like mouth to cling to rocks behind waterfalls. While typical tadpoles develop in puddles and ponds, purple frog hatchlings spend several months on cliffs feasting on moist algae. But according to the study, adult frogs aren't the only ones to be strange in appearance. As it turns out, the tadpoles are also quite unusual looking. Number 5. Rupkund, India's Skeleton Lake this glacial lake is located in the state of Uttar Hakand in India. It's not famous for its beauty nor its surroundings, but for being one of the strangest places on the entire planet which is surrounded by a halo of mystery that is still unsolved. The lake, adjacent to glaciers and snow-capped mountains, is famous among lovers of Thanato tourism, those who take trips to places associated with death and tragedy. Why? Because in 1942, a ranger patrolling the area discovered hundreds of frozen human bodies bodies in its waters. The strange and terrifying energy that surrounds the place has caused the local government to describe it as a mysterious lake, a lake that, depending on the season and the weather, which remains frozen most of the year, expands or contracts. It is precisely when it contracts, when the snow melts, that the skeletons are visible. It's no wonder that, since its discovery, scientists around the world have been asking themselves question after question. Who were they? When and how did they die there? Where do they come from? What we do know is that between 600 and 800 skeletons have been found, which since their discovery have not stopped sparking theories about how they ended up there. The first of them deduced that it could have been due to an epidemic, an unforeseen avalanche, or a storm, and placed the remains between the 12th and 15th centuries. Number 4. Lotal 
Lothal was one of the most important cities of the ancient Indus Valley civilization. Located in the modern state of Gujarat, it dates from 2400 BC. Today, it is one of the most relevant archaeological sites in India. Lothal Dock is one of the oldest in the world, connecting the city to an ancient course of the Sabarmati River, integrated into the trade route between the city of Harappa in the Sindh region and the Katiohar Peninsula, where the desert that now surrounds the area of Kach in ancient times was a part of the Arabian Sea. It was a prosperous and vital commercial center in ancient times, trading pearls, metals, precious and semi-precious stones, and valuable ornaments that reached the farthest corners of the Far East and Africa. The inhabitants of Lothal made the first realistic artistic representations in art and sculpture, having created some of the best-known fables in India today. They used the compass with a shell with 8 or 12 divisions of the horizon and possibly pioneered the study of the stars and their use in navigation 2,000 years before the Greeks. Their metal Allergical techniques have outlived them and been used for more than 4,000 years. Number 3. Gyan Ganj, a mysterious land of immortals. What if I told you that there's a place far flung from human habitat where it's believed there are immortal sages who are above any kind of desire and sorrow? You would think I'm insane, but that is the ancient belief that is known as the concept of Gyan Ganj. Legend has it that Gyan Ganj is an antediluvian Indian and Tibetan kingdom of enigmatic eternal beings that cannot be accessed to us mortals. The city is concealed from this world. It's said that the kingdom is hidden in a different dimension, but its entrance is deep in the Himalayas. Is. But even though we can't see or touch it, Gyan Ganj has a huge influence over mankind in several clandestine ways. They basically orchestrate the evolution of not only our species, but all the conscious beings that populate this earth. This mysterious and magical place is located in an isolated valley in the Himalayas, and it goes by different names, Shangri-La, Siddhastram, or Shambhala. The people that believe in the Gyan Ganj concept claim that it is a holy realm that drafts the destiny of us all. Number 2. Reverse Waterfall of all the fascinating wonders of nature that humans have been able to discover, a reverse waterfall at Nangat in India is surely one of the things that has left us all in awe. If you're into this kind of natural wonder, this might be your next weekend getaway near Mumbai. Nanagat, or popularly known as Nanagat, is a majestic mountain range in Maharashtra near the Konkan coast and the Deccan Plateau. The serene mountain pass in Maharashtra offers a breathtaking view. For those of you still wondering how this cascading beauty defies gravity, well, it doesn't. Yeah, there are lots of magical things in India, but this ain't one of them. The simple reason behind this reverse effect is the strong force of the winds pushing the water up. So while it's highly necessary that you wear warm clothing while you visit, don't forget to pack an umbrella in case it starts to rain. A mountain range like Nanagat requires a trek. Whether for the novices or the regulars, a hike up the reverse waterfall is nothing more than a feast for your eyes and food for your soul. An ideal time to visit this serene site is in the monsoon season, when the force of the cascading water is strong enough to put on quite a show. It takes about five hours to cover the entire trek both ways. This waterfall is a demonstration of the immense power of nature, of how the wind makes impossible things come true, and thankfully, we can contemplate them. Number 1. The Magnetic Hill in Ladakh the most attractive feature of Ladakh is the Buddhist monasteries, locally called Gonpa. They are located at a high point in the foothills of the mountains or on the cliff in the vicinity of the villages. These monastic establishments provide the focus for the faith of highly religious Buddhist people. The Gonpas are places of worship, secluded meditation, and religious instruction for the young. But the most mysterious site in the region has to be the famous Magnetic Hill. <laughs> the place where gravity seems to have gone on holiday. Located at a distance of around 30 kilometers from Leh, the magnetic hill is marked by a signboard that reads, The Phenomenon That Defies Gravity. When you park at the spot they suggest, vehicles begin moving forward at a speed of nearly 20 kilometers an hour uphill. Now, some people explain this bizarre phenomenon by saying that it's all but an optical illusion and that the hill isn't a real hill, it just has the appearance of one. Basically, the hill goes downhill, but it seems as if it goes uphill. However, there are some people who claim that this place simply has a very strong magnetic energy that attracts heavy objects like cars uphill. 
As you can see, India is a magical place with many mysterious and fascinating stories and traditions. Such a rich and ancestral culture. After watching this video, don't you want to pack your bags and discover this wonderful country yourself? Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time!